Tag. Wir heißen Belcanto und wir kommen die Crane Music Schule. Thank you. 
that music sounded like dreaming at all? Yeah. 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 And did you think she did a good job playing it like like it was dreaming? That was the whole point. In the Romantic era, it actually became the job of the singer or of the of the, the player to express the emotions that the composer had in the music. It was something brand new. And 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 there was so much emotion that performers just had so much freedom to do what they liked. Now in the next song they're going to sing. It's going to be, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. I'm going to have you guys tell me if I'm doing my job as a singer. And, uh, well, we'll ask you after to be judges and tell me if I've done my job. But first, I need um, a class to volunteer their teacher if she's a female only. In the back. So who is our teacher back here? Mrs. Divorced and 
it begins with a B. Does anyone know it? If it's not sweet, what is it? Sour. And what's another word for sour? Bitter. Bitter. Right. Do you think that he was bitter towards the girl? Do you think that he just, it was all that in one. He was sad. He was angry. He wanted to tell her off, but, you know, he didn't know how. So he sang. Do you think bitter is appropriate? Do you think that's a good word to use with that music? Yeah. Do you guys want to know what it means, actually? Yeah. Yeah. means, I bear no grudge. Even though my heart is breaking, I bear no grudge. Eternally lost love, but I bear no grudge. And everyone else thinks that you shine like this diamond, but I know exactly how dark you are. I've known it for a very long time now, but I bear no grudge. Even though my heart is breaking in half, I bear no grudge. And I had a dream, and I saw you, and you were this snake, and you were this evil thing, and, but I bear no grudge. And that's what he says the entire time. He's insulting her, but he says that he doesn't care, he bears no grudge. And so it's kind of a joke that Robert Schumann decided to, decided to play on the listener. So, oh wait, I forgot to ask them. You guys, do you think that I did my job as a singer? Yeah. In, in singing to these two teachers. Yeah. Think so? Good. Yeah. We have time to do it again. But what, what is interesting, what you need to remember is that Robert Schumann, that's the guy, okay, he's the composer. If you have any questions, Mrs. Coates is your music teacher, right? Yes. Yeah. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Coates. And he was and when did he live? During what era? You can all say it if you want. 1800. 1800. Okay, that's it. Romantic. Oh, over here too. What is it? Romantic. During the Romantic era. Remember that. And he wrote he wrote a song. Hold on a second. All right, guys. Well, we only have a couple more minutes, but we hope to come back maybe sometime for a little bit longer. Do you have any questions? about any kind of music. We don't have time, but maybe we can come back sometime. Because this is where I'm from. I live here. Well, we have to take, she asked how we learn those songs in German. And, and at the Crane School of Music, where we come from, we have to, if you're a singer at least, you have to take diction classes um, in all uh, what they call romantic languages, uh, which would be German, Italian, French, and English. And um, you have to learn it that way. They teach you. In the first. Yeah. I'm sorry. Am I a professional? I like to think so. I try to be. I'm getting there. I'm still a student, though. Hold on. Nice and loud. Did you really mean it when you sang that song to the teacher? No, of course not. That's the fun thing about music, is you don't have to mean what you're singing. At least after you're done singing it. It's another request for Can you play the piano she says? No. <laughs> Today we've been to Moore's Elementary and Rouse Point Elementary. You guys are our last stop. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I come from Rouse's Point Elementary. My name, oh, there we go again. We forgot to tell you our names. We always forget that. My name is Scott Merchant, and this is Carrie Pope. Thank you. How about right there? I started singing when 
I was I was in third grade. I have to say I remember singing singing everything. Yeah. So you guys can start now and do whatever you like. Yeah, you can start in first grade, you can start even before you go into school. Nice and loud. I went to Northeastern and like I as you heard once more, I said Ross Point. I went to Ross Point on the third. How about the way back? Actually, German, German is my favorite language to sing it. Oh, we got one more short one you can sing for us. The English? Yeah. It's like three minutes long, is that okay? That's a week. All right, you guys want to hear one more song? Um, the song that I'm going to sing now, actually quite interesting, a few years ago at Northeastern, they did a play called My Fair Lady, and um, in which I got to play a good role of Henry Higgins. Um, but this song is actually sang by a different character named Freddie, and it's called On the Street Where You Live. So we're going to put the street, an imaginary street, right there.